So Classroom of the Elite Episode 8 gets us back into the swing of things here. As last week, I think it's pretty obvious why I didn't make a review on Episode 7 as what was I going to say, other than the fact that it felt like the type of episode you would get bundled in the Blu-ray and DVD release as a way to sell the Blu-rays and DVDs to the people who want those kinds of fan service and mediocre, even below mediocre episodes. However, when I watch a high school series, I just expect we're going to have those episodes, sadly, with modern anime. But it is what it is. But it doesn't ruin my enjoyment for the series. I knew we'd get it back into the swing of things. And hell... There might even be another one of those types of episodes within this series, but as long as we have more of the good episodes and bad, I'm fine with it. And I like what they did with this episode, as it does make you think that, are we really gonna get a second fan service episode and not have good content again? But they use it to its advantage in a way that actually makes it work and I kinda respect it. There were some scenes in this episode I absolutely hated and thought the massage stuff was stupid, but I did appreciate the fact that they did go the route of showing that very masculine man, and they kind of went into like a kind of fake out with that. I thought that was kind of humorous. I was like, okay, at least they are not just doing this on the female body. At least they are doing something else here. They're giving everyone a chance to have their fan service moment, even if some of it is for comedy. But I appreciate it because even though I wasn't sure where they're going to go with this because we're on summer break, we're on this expensive yacht, it seems like everything's peaceful. But this is a series that every time I watch an episode, I think there's more than meets the eye than what I'm just seeing on screen. So I thought they were going to do something. I mean, I know himself well as Horikita says, like, there's got to be something else going on here. There's no way this is just going to be our summer vacation. But I didn't expect them to go the route of a survival test, where they have to survive on this island for a week on end. And it's going to be very interesting, because all of the classes are going to be on this island, but at the same time they're going to be tested, but we don't know how they're going to be tested. And that makes me very excited, because I'm wondering if it's going to happen, like, it's not just going to be Class D working with Class D, but I wonder if there's going to be some alliances that are going to get made, if one's going to try to outmaneuver the other, things like that. And it's going to be interesting, but I'm really getting some Lord of the Flies vibes right now. Like, I feel like things are going to go very wrong in this island, and I'm very excited to see what they're going to do with it. But I thought the way they used this episode to slowly build up to the ending, which is going to be the amazing stuff next week, I thought it worked in its favor, even though it was just them on the boat. It's like, at the end of the day, we're watching students in a pristine school who are at the best of the best, and things are going to go weird. So even when we are in these types of scenes, that doesn't necessarily ruin an episode for me. But rather, it makes me interested, like, what's going to happen with such a weird cast of characters in a fairly normal and relaxed setting? And this is what we get here. We get it turned into a survival game, and also some drama and tension off and on. But I have to say, I actually really like the stuff at the very beginning of the episode where we have Aino and his teacher, and essentially the teacher saying, like, hey, someone called me and said, we need to expel you. And he's like, alright, I mean, I'm a student, you can't just expel me for no reason. Yeah, you're right. But I mean, if you cause issues, we're going to have to expel you. But I'll tell you what, if you work your ass off and try to get to Class A, we won't have to have any issues with you and I'll cover for you. And then I was just like, I'm not going to go to Class A. And she's like, well, you're going to get expelled. And I love his kind of like snap reaction because I know himself is also a fake persona. The way that he shows himself to like his classmates in the outside world isn't truly who he is. The times that we've seen him snap, it's been very few. We know he is a someone who's broken. We know he's in some sort of experimental facility, and obviously he must have been very skilled at it. Maybe he ran away now that he's in the school, they can't touch him. It's hard to say exactly what's going on, but essentially it seems like the school's going to be his shield from probably his past life. And of course, that's going to make him snap if he's pretty much getting blackmailed and doing something that he doesn't want. And what he wants is supposedly, from what we know, is to just live a normal, quiet life where no one looks at him as someone who's special, but just ordinary. Which, if you did come from an experimental facility, it makes total damn sense that you want to just be ordinary and not have people look at you and poke you around because they think you're so special. So like how the episode starts, I love how the episode ends, and the content surrounding it I thought was fine. Was it the best stuff we've seen with Classroom of the Elite? No, but it's definitely a step up from last week, and it didn't feel like just mindless kind of BS. It felt like there was stuff happening even if it was them just on vacation, at this, like, every single scene, you felt like something else was going on even before you realized that this is going to become a survival test, so I wasn't really bored. There were the scenes that I didn't like, like the whole massage stuff, and I'm just like, modern anime, why do you got to do this? But at the core, I thought this was a fine episode. It was enjoyable. It had its moments, the stuff at the beginning, and I think next week's episode, which is probably not just going to be one episode, it's probably going to be two or three episodes. I think this survival test is going to have a lot of curveballs, a lot of unexpectedness to it, and I'm very excited to see what they're going to do with it. And ultimately, if it is just going to be survival of each of the classes, or if some of the classes are going to break apart, work with others, and how this whole scoring system is going to work, and how they're going to 
to be graded and what exactly kind of like unexpected and just kind of shocking moments are going to happen. I'm very excited to see what they're going to do and only in Classroom of the Elite would you have your school throw you on an island and say good luck for a week and we'll see you then. But I did enjoy this episode at the core but let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below. What did you think of this episode and what are you thinking is going to happen during this survival test next week? What do you think ultimately is going to go down? Let me know some of your thoughts and theories down in the comment section below and before you leave smack that like button to show your support if you're new channel be sure to subscribe. So until next time everyone please take care and have a good one.